All new at six tonight, most of us have avoided catching the common cold over the last couple of years thanks to social distancing and mask requirements. Well, now that most of those mandates are behind us, our immune systems are starting to catch up. With masks gone in the classrooms, you may have noticed your child getting off the bus with a sore throat or upset stomach. 7 News reporter Ryan Arbogast explains what you can do to help your kids get healthy and back to normal. Your kids are now back in the classroom and most are without a mask. Uh, now that we're um, returning to a maskless um, environment that the children are being exposed to lots of normal viruses again. Normal viruses like the common cold, stomach bugs and the flu. Um, I anticipate that that and we have seen um, a, a little bit of a, a back increase with um, other viruses now that that the children are getting exposed. Yes. Dr. Kathleen Grisanti is the president of the Pediatric and Adolescent Urgent Care of Western New York, and she tells me masks have made everyone's immune systems a little weaker. Um, we will probably see some increase in um, these um, viruses and bacteria that they, they hadn't been exposed to before and don't have the, the immunity. But that doesn't necessarily mean it is COVID. Oh, no, there's so many other different viruses um, out there. And um, it is important to, to remember that there's, there's lots of things out there that can cause um, your child to be ill. Dr. Steven Turkovich from Oshai says also don't worry. These aren't things that are sending kids to the hospital. I'd say they're probably immuno, uh, they're immune naive to them. Their immune systems either haven't seen them before or maybe they saw them a while back and some of the immunity has waned. Uh, we generally do see some GI bugs this time of year, so it's, it's pretty common to see that. But still, nobody wants their kids sick. So what can you do to keep them healthy? Um, sometimes people sort of forget about washing hands that we sort of got rid of the masks. They think that, you know, we don't have to do those other things anymore. Just follow common sense practices we've used even way before masks. Ryan Arbogast, 7 News.